Hi folks, it's Mike here from Lost Smith UK. Very quickly doing this video about our Strife battery tray expanders. Now I hear a lot of people complaining that these are butt ugly. But I'll be honest with you, I didn't build them to be pretty. I built them to be really solid and durable. I play a lot of games in forests, in very rocky places, bits and pieces where I might go down and damage uh, you know, my tray when it's sticking out the side like this. So I built something that, with the help of my friends here at uh, the workshop, that will stand up to severe abuse and punishment. This is a PLA printed uh, piece using a 1mm nozzle. As for the time of recording, as far as I know, that's unique in the community. No one else produces parts like of this strength. You get a nice 3D printed grain here, which is you know nice and uniform with the print from where the infill's gone down. You get nice thick rock solid walls here and you've got your full th uh, M335 screw which mounts it to the standard tray here. Now I figured I'd go for a blue on blue option. Some of these will snap fit and then you'll screw it in place like so. <coughs> and you screw it down like so. And what will happen is as the screws come to meet the expander will settle into place. And sometimes you'll see that um, this will need to snap in at this end. Sometimes the shape of the, uh, the tray um, section on the stripe varies and you need to allow it to snap in. Other times it will slot in like it has done here. That's perfectly normal. What's also perfectly normal is a little bit of gap at the back here. We have a lot of variation in the back. So looking at the expander itself, you'll notice that we have Layer, what would otherwise be termed layer artifacts here, that's because we use a 0.6mm layer height on this piece. What we actually do is we use that to our advantage by gripping the edge of the case so it's less likely to move than our 0.4mm counterparts. So what I'm about to do next, you should never, ever, 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 ever do at home, okay? Uh, but I am confident that this hammer versus this piece will not compromise the battery tray. I'm so confident I have my LiPo here. As I say, do not do this at home. I have a fire extinguisher waiting out of shop and I know exactly what I'm doing. <clears throat> Down it goes. Now, I've only got half a strife here because it's all I could find in the form of the blue strife, which is kind of awkward, but I wanted a colour match. So, hammer. Doesn't give a damn. So, some of you may have seen a slightly less fortunate one of these uh, that didn't survive that hammer. And that's because we used one of these. This is a literal rock hammer used by geology students the world over to chip away at granite, basalt, whatever other rock they can find. It took one of these to break this. So I wager that these are the safest battery tray expanders in the world. And I'm going to see if I can break this one now without breaking the strife. So remember, this is a literal rock hammer, side by side. Okay, it's the little pin hammer that you normally find in your toolbox. And this is one that's used on rocks. Oh wait, it doesn't. 